Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Blue Golf Ball today with another Pokemon TCG online video. And today I have for you guys a deck idea given by Falgers. Falgers. I'm not sure. But I actually ran into you before and I battled you on Pokemon TCG online, so that's pretty fun. Uh, he actually did play the same deck, too. Well, not the exact same deck, but here's my take at it. Uh, this is going to be a round deck, so Falgers, Falgers, F A L G E R, has commented before and says, you know, he, he wants to see. A, a, a round deck and uh, that's what I'm gonna do so we're gonna play round today with Seismitoad doing round for DCE does 30 damage times the number of Pokemon you haven't played with the round attack right so let's say you've got all six Pokemon out there with round you're doing 180 hit knockouts over and over again so that's pretty fun um, I like that a lot so we do have over here uh, Palpitoad with round as well and then of course Tim Pole does not have round but hey that's alright uh, but we do have Meloetta here and Meloetta we've got four of these can do round uh, you do have to pay three psychic uh, energies to do this but we're not going to be doing that ever if anything we might run into needing to use a brilliant voice sometimes but otherwise we won't be needing that we will have the dc uh dce searching out with using computer search computer search can search out anything and it can search out dces so that's very convenient we're going to be playing one of these which is the only one we can play which is the aspect of choice in this deck we're going to be having three dive balls which works really well since we have a lot of water pokemon we can just go and dive ball and get the water pokemon out we do have one professor's letter and then we do have repeat ball two of these to get Meloetta, right? So if we got one Meloetta on the bench, we can actually use Repeat Ball and get another Meloetta into our hand. Uh, we have one starting Megaphone, two VS Seekers, and then for our support line, we got Archie's Ace in a hole. You never know when this might be in handy. It could be one off, uh, one off tech card kind of thing. But yeah, so we have one Colrus, two Lysanders, one Lysander Shrimp card, three ends, and subbing for the last end again is going to be the Birch observations professor birch's observations we got four junipers one skyla and teammates because you never know you might get knocked out right so temple is pretty weak if we got temple out there it just gets knocked out we can use teammates and get the pokemon stuff we really need we got training center um i figured this would be a pretty good choice and i think uh falgers uh might you might actually be playing this too if you're watching this video i think your deck when i battled you one time i don't know how many times i battled you but you might be playing a pokemon training center stadium too i did consider playing a uh what do you call it? The uh, uh, the the storm, right? The, oh, I forgot what it's called, but strong breeze, or I don't know what it is. It's a stadium for you know water type Pokemon. Uh, we do have one full stone uh, just to get the retreat for Milowetta, maybe even Seismitoad, and then three Muscle Band that would work pretty well. Oh wait, I have four, uh, not four, two <laughs> uh, float stones. There we go. I meant to say I have four DCEs and five Water Energies to round out the deck. Get it? Round out the deck. Ha ha ha. All right, fine. No pun intended. Or fine, the button was intended. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if the round deck, if this round deck, I don't know how your particular builds are, but this build is pretty interesting, I think. I think this build is kind of balanced, I don't know. But here we go, we'll be playing against Deoxy Smatter, and uh, boy, he's got the advantage. He's playing quite different types out there. He might be uh, playing some kind of Mega Manectric deck. Uh, we start off with a Meloetta. Um, so, oh boy, we see the Thunderous. Uh, what can we do here? We can play the Floatstone here, I think. Um, if anything, I, I want to see... A, see, the thing with this, I want to hang on to the Switch. The thing with this is we want to see... Um, we we, we kind of want to see um, these, these Star Megaphones early. And that way we have a sh we know that we can... Um, we can play, you know, we can play our tool cards uh, and not feel too too concerned with that so here we go we're gonna go with the uh, temple here and I guess we could just drop the energy I'm gonna hang on to the switch in case if we do get silent megaphone uh, and then kind of just go on from there so uh, it's gonna be a pretty slow start if anything uh, I will probably discard uh, two of these cards and whatever I draw next and then just juniper my hand away Ooh, we see a curum oh this is gonna be a TDK deck oh man we need to get a fast start here Oh uh, boy, uh, the Kyurem is getting powered up. My opponent is playing stuff left and right. Two, two Team Plasma Balls, it's a Coalition Machine, and an Energy in there. My opponent is just slapping everything left and right. We even see, oh my goodness, everything is just aiming at us, flying everywhere. And there's a Lugia, for crying out loud. Wow, even a Lugia. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I want to play... Well, let's see. I, I don't want to play Colrus. I don't want to play N. Um, so here we go. We're just gonna go with this, getting rid of those. Um, yeah, let's see. We do have that. Um, we do have. Let's see. 
Wait, what am I doing again? Let's just get the silent megaphone. I'm, I don't know. Uh, man, I shouldn't have done this. Um, all right, so here we go. We'll evolve that. Uh, we even got a muscle band here. We can counter this. And uh, yeah, let's just attack with the mud shot. All right, so my opponent's thunderous can hit us for right now 40 damage. We got rid of that muscle band. All right. Or the hard charm. All right, okay, so it's a hard charm. Uh, so we were able to hit 420. Uh, but so we see the lightning energy. We will get hit, but I can evolve. So that's always good news there. And uh, let's see, we got a Skyla. Uh, we can hit for 40. Ooh, that is brutal. Um, the Lugia is getting powered up here. I even get a repeat ball. That's really nice. So let's get another Meloetta out into play. Uh, that's always good stuff. And uh, yeah, we're just going to juke our hand away. Here we go. We even have that going for us. We have this right here. I'm just going to soften up this this thunderous. Um, let's see. What are we doing here? We got one, two, three, four. All right, four, 120. Not enough. Just short. Just a little short. So we're not going to play the muscle band. Uh, we would be 10 short of knocking out the thunderous. So not quite worth it. Um, but uh, we will be able to. Uh, oh boy. The Lugia is going to come out to play. And uh, he's going he's gonna to take two prizes right there. So that's pretty scary. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll play that there. And I'll play this here as well. Um, I'm actually going to... Yeah, I'm just going to go with the N. I hope we can get a DCE off of this. But no, we don't. And uh, we do get a repeat ball here. Um, get another one of these. Wow, what happened to our Palpatodes? We got two of these. All right. So we got two Palpatodes. Um... Oh, this is not good. My opponent uh, might not be able to knock us out, so we could survive the turn there. All right, so let's go ahead and end that. We couldn't get a DCE. Where are all our DCEs? We haven't seen one yet. We've only seen two water energies. Oh, boy. One, two, three. My opponent needs a muscle band and an energy drop. Oh, man. He's got a switch, so all right. He's going to soften the seismosote up a little bit and uh, hitting our bench. Probably a temple, uh, most likely. So, there we go. Uh, we're definitely going to need... Alright, so we got the muscle band. Um, what I want to do is... Uh, I guess I'm just going to... Let's just try it. Oh, we get tails. Dang it. Alright, we'll just go for the knockout on uh, Curum. Alright, so we are in knockout range for the Lugia. Uh, otherwise, my opponent... Would need to play a muscle band. I mean, he could still knock us out, but if anything, my opponent wants to retreat to the Lugia if he can get a plasma energy. But if he doesn't, he's already got three plasma energies in the discard pile. Um, so here we go. We see a uh, rainbow energy onto the Kyurem. Um Oh boy, this is brutal. Uh, this is not good. I wish you know, now. I wish that we actually played the other stadium. That way we can heal our seismitoads. But that means my opponent can actually heal the Thunderous as well. So. You know, that's kind of a horse piece right there. But, uh, all right, so here we go. We got the Lugia out here. Uh, Lugia's getting powered up. We do have this. I'm going to end my opponent again. We will take the knockout on on the, uh, the Thunderous. So I guess we'll do that. Um, yeah. All right, so just round this guy out. Taking two prizes. We do get a dive ball here. Um, oh, it's not looking too good. Not looking too good at all. All right, so we see my opponent here can't really get uh, these these things these energies back. That's already what one two energies. All right, um, I'm just gonna discard one more. So uh, it can knock out the seismitoad, but uh, I do have a Lysander that I can probably Lysander out the Deoxys, just kind of buy a turn, um, which is a possibility. Unless my opponent plays more switches, we already see one. We see one switch here. Unless my opponent plays more switches. Oh, no. We even get our stadium countered. I'll play this with the float stone. Um, oh, boy. That is brutal. That is absolutely brutal. Uh, let's see. We don't have any rare candies. Uh, no rare candies. So, <laughs> oh, boy. That's no good. Uh, we'll go with the Palpatode here. Um, let's see. Let's Lysander out this guy. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's could try that. Um, do we have a Culrus here? Yes, we do. All right, so we're going to go over the Culrus uh, for next turn. <laughs> All right, brilliant voice. Put 
just to sleep. Come on, go to sleep, buddy. There we go. Go to sleep. And he has tails. So even with the DCE drop, he can't retreat. He's going to have to play the switch. And if he does, then we've lost the game. If he plays the switch and a... Uh, and uh, energy uh, onto anything really uh, we could get knocked out so um, our chances are pretty slim right now we can get a 9 uh, 11 card draw uh, but uh, playing against this <laughs> this deck is pretty tough uh, we do get a DCE here so my opponent can retreat later if not all right so uh, ops not do that um, yeah all right uh, I don't, man, we don't play any hand hammers, so we can't really get rid of that. Three, uh, energies are in there. Three pl Team Plasma energies are in the discard pile. Alright, so, wow, my opponent plays a Colorus, and boy, we are in absolute danger of getting knocked out. My opponent's Glugia is doing 150 damage with, um, three Deoxys on the bench. So we gotta have to, we really need to counter this stadium, um, my opponent's got a hard charm, so there we go. We don't have to worry about a muscle band. We got we absolutely need to counter the stadium and uh, switch into a, a seismitoad if we get if we can get the seismitoad. So there we go. We got the counter of the stadium. It's always good stuff. Uh, good stuff there. We will play that here, and uh, I'm gonna hang on to the switch in case we need that. So let's go with the colorus. And boy, we were able to get it. Here it is, and we even get a muscle band to boot. Uh, so that's always good stuff there. So ideally, we should be able to survive the turn, um, and uh, yeah, should. All right, so there we go. We will knock this guy out, take two prizes, and uh, we should be able to. We, we absolutely should be able to survive the turn, right? So, oh no, oh boy, uh, <laughs> oh what what's gonna happen next? Oh, we even get. Oh no, are we gonna see a Lysander? Oh, if we see a Lysander, it is over. And there we go, my opponent, oh man, being able to retreat there, can knock out our, oh no, and uh, there we go. So, poor Seismitoad could not take on this deck. Alright, what do you guys think, should we play another one? Let's, let's try it out, let's just try it out, you never know, you might be able to win the next one. Can't win them all, we can't win them all, that was close. If only my opponent could not have gotten that Lysander, we would have been able to knock out something, um... You know, cause I think, didn't we have our last hand of our own? I, I don't remember, but... Oh, that is heartbreaking. That is heartbreaking. Oh, uh, man. Uh, down to one prize left. That is a bummer. All right, so here we go. Uh, we are going to be playing against another Water and Psychic deck, Pamaro. Let's go for heads. And yes, I'd love to go first. That way we can evolve first. So here we go. My opponent is playing a round deck as well. Oh, and he's got the advantage for playing a round deck. That's funny. All right, so uh, we can play the repeater ball. We get another brilliant voice going. Um, let's see. You can play that right there, and we will end. Um, okay, we can go with this. Get the temple out. Uh, we got that right there. And I'm just going to play this. On to the middle of the, that way we can retreat in the next turn or we can treat whenever um, because what I'd like to do is oh no we get hypnotoxic laser and we what the heck oh what in the world a hypnotoxic laser oh man that is just brutal all right so here we go we'll play the DCE and um, uh, what can we do here hmm uh, we can go for uh, a repeat ball, maybe, um, or a dive ball. I don't know. We'll go with the dive ball. Uh, I want to play it slow here. Uh, let's see. All right, and uh, let's just retreat into this Meloetta <laughs> and kind of go on from there. All right, so the next turn, we can uh, probably just end up junipering. I don't know. Um, but this is going to be tough. My opponent, it's, it, he's got the rare candy. So he's playing the rare candy route, skipping the Palpitoad um, and ending his turn. So there we go. Uh, we'll just slap the muscle band here. And um, I guess we're going to have to Juniper away our hand. And here we go. We got this going for us. We even get the switch. Um, we also have this here. So that's enough to knock out uh, my opponent. And uh, boy, oh boy, this is pretty good for us. So here we go, knocking out the Meloetta. My opponent does not really have much to respond with. And uh, Seismitoad versus Seismitoad, we get end into a temple. So 
Uh, we could get around ourselves, and uh, but hey, we're doing 140, 140 around. So no need to play Pokemon Training Center. I don't want to do that and help out my opponent. My opponent will be able to round us for 60. But you know what? It's a little bit too late. I'm gonna be able to knock out his right there. And uh, oh, we even get another level out of darn it. If only I saved the space. But that's all right. Uh, we should be able to knock out this Meloetta and kind of go on from there. Uh, we would definitely be in the prize lead. Uh, I apologize to my opponent. Just couldn't, uh, you know. Hmm. All right. We don't really need the repeat ball here. Um, but we could go with the training center. So that's always good. Uh, let's play that there and go for a round, knocking out the Meloetta, taking out knockouts left and right. We even see a Seismitoad in our hand. We don't have the Palpitoad. That's a bit of a bummer. Um, but here we go. We got to the my opponent playing a Via Seeker. Can definitely end this down to one card. But um, from there, my opponent will need to retreat. And it doesn't matter. We get end into a Juniper and Hypnotoxic Laser. Oh, we still stay awake. And I think it's GG. My opponent being able to hit us for a brilliant voice. Um... Regardless, uh, yeah, I think we should be able to survive the turn. Does not put us to sleep. Oh, wait, puts us to sleep. No way. Oh, man, that is devastating. Let's go with the Juniper here. We get the switch. And uh, look at that. So we even get this here. Uh, we can actually play a double switch. And uh, let's just be a little sneaky here, right? Let's pretend. Let's pretend uh, that, uh, you know, we're doing something tricky. Um, but we're really not. We just get the float stone. Got the float stone. We'll play the float stone here. We'll play with the switch here. And then we'll retreat. And we'll knock it out. There we go. Round for 140. I don't know, guys. So we got to, we lost a devastating, heartbreaking one. And then we got to win a dominating performance here. So I don't know. That was a lot of fun. See, so round, if it gets going, this is proof that it can take uh, it can take hits and it can also dish it out. So there you guys go. What do you guys think of this round deck? We were able to pull off at least one win. That was pretty exciting. Uh, let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think? Thank you, Falgers. F-A-L-G-E-R-S. Um, I apologize. I can't pronounce the name. But thank you again for bringing up this round deck idea and uh, then bringing it to my attention so I can build it. So I'll have some more Pokemon videos very soon. You guys have a good day. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.